Filming for Halloween Kills has wrapped. Uh, we got a new behind the scenes teaser that's out and we're gonna break that apart. Uh, and also I'm gonna give you five potential problems that we could have with Halloween Kills. So let's do this. So what's up guys, it's update time. With Halloween behind us, the holiday, I had a feeling that we were gonna get some, some treats for Halloween kills on that day, and sure enough, we did. This is how big this movie is right now. We are getting a behind the scenes teaser. This is something that you never see unless the movie is just like that anticipated. Like, I don't even know if we got one of those for like Rise of Skywalker. So the horror community is just so rabid for this new Halloween Kills movie that uh, it raised a few questions in my mind, uh, specifically some potential problems that we might have with this movie, and we will go into that. I'm gonna give you five things to consider. But first off, um, going through that behind the scenes video, I'd like to go through some of the images in that video because there were some interesting images in there. And by the way, if you're the type of person that doesn't want to know too much about this movie, I would recommend not watching this video. I really would. I think we, as YouTubers, some of us, we take it upon ourselves to spoil the movie, for lack of a better phrase. I'm not fully spoiling the movie for myself. I'm sure that David Gordon Green and company have a lot of uh, tricks up their sleeve, maybe an ace in the hole, some good stuff. So I think they know what they're doing here with the marketing, but... Some people just don't want to go in knowing anything, and there are a lot of telling images that have come out, specifically with Myers himself, just visually. So, again, if you don't want to know too much, I would not recommend watching this video, seriously. Because if I wasn't reporting on Halloween, I probably wouldn't look at any of this stuff. Or it'd be a lot easier for me not to look at this stuff. And I got my laptop here, I'm uh, looking through these images, but the first one, it's Allison getting out of a truck with a gun. Um, it looks like this is probably in the middle to the end of the movie. They're in the heat of the action. Not much to uh, decipher in this, this image. Now this next image I definitely do want to discuss. It is interesting. We have this, uh, this vehicle pulled up, the door open. Uh, it looks like it could be Meyer's foot in the door. And we have this, it, it looks like a candy striper or somebody coming from a Halloween uh, party and she is opening fire right on Myers. So this definitely tells me that they're in the heat of battle and some crazy shit's going down. Now there is this other image, as a matter of fact, let me go pull it up here, where Myers is attacking uh, someone, it looks to be the same vehicle. And I've heard rumors that this could be Lindsey Wallace. I'm not sure, but uh, you know, this is definitely a Myers not to be messed with. You can see the, uh, the uh, gunshot on his mask. It looks like the mask is not getting any damage from the fire. So if we go to the next image where Myers is coming out of the flames, um, it's obvious that Myers found a quick escape from Lori's like security uh, nest. And uh, apparently she didn't do that great of a job because like I said, Myers got out of there pretty quickly. You can see him standing on the, uh, the front porch, not a flame to be seen on his body. So that kind of irks me because I think Myers would have some some uh, some battle damage, especially from the flames. And I like seeing a burned Myers mask, but maybe they just thought, you know what? We've done that before. Let's just keep his mask uh, as it is. But that is visually one of the most interesting and most telling um, images from the trailer. Now, the next image, uh, it's either Lori or Allison's hand on the knife. At the end of Halloween 2018, Allison was holding the knife, so I'm thinking this is the beginning of the movie, this is her hand, but it's just a, vis a visually striking image. Now, probably one of uh, my favorite images that I saw in there, and it harkened back to the first movie, the beginning of the first movie, uh, if we remember when Loomis and uh, the nurse are going to uh, pick up Myers, and then the nurse is under attack, and Myers' hand slaps against the window. This image looks very similar to that. We see Karen in the vehicle and a hand, uh, and that looks to be Meyer's hand. It's all bloody, but it looks like it's about to bash the window just like the first movie. And speaking of Karen, this is another interesting image because it's Karen in the hospital and we see somebody 
in the reflection behind her, somebody is actually in the, the bed, the hospital bed. I can't make out who that is. I don't know if that person is important at all. I, I would assume that they are. But looking at it, I can't really tell who exactly it is. It looks like it could be Lori. Uh, looking closer, it definitely looks like it could be Lori, but I am not 100% sure on that. And speaking of Lori, uh, the, the image at the very end when she says, Happy Halloween, and she's got the blood all over her hands. That's a lot of blood on her hands. But uh, she did go through hell uh, at the end of Halloween 2018. So, um, and, and speaking of Jamie Lee Curtis, she shot the least out of all of the, the main cast. So could Halloween Kills be Lori's exit? I think it's highly likely, actually. And there's another image of Myers looking in a, uh, a mirror. And you can see a full view of the mask. And uh, again, it's that right there is proof that we the mask is pretty much going to be the same mask from the last movie, which I do like. It is one of the best masks in the uh, the whole franchise. And um, there is this image of Myers standing behind a, a bush or a tree, and this trick or treater coming up. Now, what I'm wondering is if this could be a flashback scene, because that looks like it could be Lonnie. So this definitely looks like a flashback. Plus, you can see the car that looks like it's from the '70s. So. This is obviously a flashback scene, but um, I'm really curious about the flashback scene in the movie. And then um, the last one from the behind the scenes um, video uh, is probably the most iconic. It's just Myers from the side. And uh, th you know, this is like thumbnail material right here. This is, this is poster material. Uh, now I don't know where Myers is in this. It looks like he, he, uh, there's a white light behind him. So he's definitely outside because you can see kind of the tree to the right in the back. Uh, and so I don't think, I think that's just lighting for the camera. I don't think that's something that's going to be visible um, uh, in the frame. Now, there is an image uh, floating out there of Tommy Doyle, uh, Marion Chambers, and uh, Kyle Richards playing uh, Lindsay Wallace. Which leads me into my five problems that could uh, happen in Halloween Kills. Things to consider. And that's the first thing I want to discuss is... Are we bringing back too many characters in this? We discussed this on Hollow Stream Kills, actually, too. Um, and it could be an issue if you're spending way too much time with each character, trying to catch up with them, find out what they're doing, because these are, you know, viable characters from the first movie. And, of course, you're going to want to spend some time on them. So I think they do have to, like, space out their screen time strategically so it doesn't get in the way of the flow of the movie, the action. Uh, I don't want a, a Halloween reunion movie. I want, uh, you know, a, a follow-up to Halloween 2018. I want it to be bloody and gritty. And I don't want to spend too much time on these characters. So that's one thing that does worry me with all these returning characters from the first movie. The second thing that worries me is Laurie Strode is a double-edged sword. Yes, she was great in Halloween 2018. But because she's had so many chances at this franchise, we've covered so many uh, bases that... It's a it's a it's a lose lose situation. If if she lives, it's a bad thing. If she dies, it's gonna piss off some people. So they really have to handle her situation in this movie with care. And what is the answer to that? I don't know. It, it's a tough situation to deal with. You do have guys like me that are sick of Laurie Strode, and then you have others. That, I've had people comment on my videos saying, "Hey, Laurie Strode is the most important character in Halloween." She might be to, to some of you guys, but. It's going to be interesting to see how they deal with her uh, if they get rid of her in this movie. Number three, um, and I, I touched on it earlier, too much information too early. We are getting a lot of uh, images out there now. We're getting a lot of news out there now for Halloween Kills. The internet is a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing because I remember back in the 80s, 90s, when I was going to see these movies, I knew next to nothing. You know, a lot of times when I went to the theater, I went in completely blind with these movies. I saw the little 30 second uh, TV spot. Sometimes I didn't even watch that. Now, I know way too much information. It, it takes some of the, the mystery out of the story, out of Myers, all that stuff. So I'm hoping that because we know so, ma so much information, it doesn't affect uh, our enjoyment of the movie. Number four, here's an interesting one. Um, Allison and Karen, if they get rid of Laurie Strode early in this movie, these are the two characters that the movie's gonna rest on. Um, have they earned the cred? You know, because if you remember in Halloween 2018, I like Allison, but she didn't really do that much. You know, you had that, the, the shape hunts Allison 
section of the movie, which amounted to nothing. She basically freaked out when she saw her friend get killed. Uh, and then she turned a corner and then she was safe again. So Allison hasn't really done too much to, to earn her place. And, and some of you might love her and she might be fine, but that's the one thing that worries me. If this whole movie rides on her shoulders, on Karen's shoulders, Karen's another character that I'm not too fond of. She did have that cool moment at the end of the movie, but outside of that, do we really care? So hopefully Myers can take the mantle and keep this movie uh, really, really interesting. I hope I'm wrong. I do think there's potential, especially with Allison, definitely. But I think they need to lay the groundwork early on that. And then number five, can we learn from the mistakes of Halloween 2018? Yes, I know I freaking you know, went to the mountaintop and I sang its praises when it came out, but after the dust settled, honeymoon phase is over. Yes, the movie did have some issues. So uh, will they learn from their mistakes? Will they listen to the audience? Because sometimes that's a bad thing. You don't want to give everybody exactly what they want. You want to throw some surprises in there, you know, throw some things in there that gets the audience to think, ooh, I didn't expect that, but that could be interesting. So again, it's, it's another one of those double-edged swords. But, you know, the, the comedy with Ray, um, not making the second half of the movie as good as the first half of the movie. So those are the five problems I could see with this movie. Uh, did I miss any? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your concerns. Are you not concerned at all and you think this movie is going to knock it right out of the park? I sure hope it does. I'm excited. It's a great time to be a Halloween fan. I'll say that. But anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and Drum Dum out.